What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another Ball Carter video. We are doing a quick recap of our 2024 Topps Stadium Club Blaster Box Case Rip. Um, so here's one of the older boxes right here. So we did a whole case of blasters. Um, blasters consisted of, you got at least four chromes, two inserts in every box. You had featured at least one sepia and one black parallel in every box. And you got about five or six reds per box. And then you had the green chromes that were retail exclusive. They weren't in every box, but but that's kind of what you saw. So we, there was 40 boxes, full case. First time I ever opened Stadium Club, so a little new to this, but I, you know, I learned a lot here. Um, definitely some pros and some cons. Um, I do have an honest opinion about the set and then about blaster boxes. Um, I'll kind of talk about that at the end. Um, but yeah, I'll go through this really quick. I'll try to make this as fast as possible here. Go through kind of what you what you see in the boxes and then kind of what the big hits were. And um, So yeah, uh, go ahead and uh, if you could, give this video a like, a thumbs up. Um, that helps get the video out there more. Um, subscribe if you guys like this content. Uh, we like to do this with cases. Um, do recaps, kind of see what a product look like, looks like from a case opening standpoint. We usually just do it with retail. It's a lot more affordable. So, yeah. So, all right. So, let's get started here. Um, first off, let's start with the inserts. So, inserts, this is kind of what you find. You got the triumvirate. These are a little more, a lot more rare inserts. They're die cuts. And I guess they connect to maybe like two other cards. It's like part of a, a group. Um, so if you like that sort of thing, I guess, <laughs> um, yeah. And then it's kind of what we get here. And then most of the, most of the inserts were pretty equal as far as how common they were. This is your virtuosos of velocity. So those were kind of cool. Sorry, we got a lot of shine going on here with these <laughs> refractor foils here. Sorry, I'll try to. Stay out there. And then we have the Power Pact. Nice Ellie there. Get a bunch of those. And then a couple more here. All right. And then you got the Chief Fantasies. Uh, they're kind of color, kind of color matches on the, uh, the teams there. So got a bunch of those. And then we got... Special Forces, and then a bunch of those inserts. I think about 20, so about about every other box of each insert. Um, so you get, you know, two of two of one in one box and two of the other in the other box. So kind of pretty consistent, actually. And then we got uh, the green exclusives. Um, we didn't hit a ton of good green exclusives. Um... You know, some Hall of Famers, Juan Soto, you know, that's a cool one. Tatis, that's a cool one there. Um, nothing huge except for we did get this Jackson Holiday. This was the best green we could get there. Pretty sweet card right there. Good hit. Um, reds, these were the most common uh, parallel that you could get. These, there's like seven, 8,000 of these of every player so. Pretty common, but like I only hit one in a whole case, one of each of the, the top rookies. I think I got two of Junior Caminero, but they're not the easiest hits because they're still, they're more rare than, you know, obviously the base. But uh, I think I, I got a red of every single top rookie that you can think of. A couple of Camineros there. Imanaga, that's a cool one. You know, even some of the secondary guys. I liked. Um, you know, you got Shohei, Judge, Soto, Griffey. I like the Nolan Ryan. I like these ones. The Pujols one's cool. Ozzy Smith. So those, those are probably my favorite inserts. Yeah, they're not as valuable and they're not as rare, but yeah, they were definitely my favorite. Um, they just, they look sweet. <laughs> I would love a whole set of that. Sepias. Um, you got one sepia in every box. Here's just some of the I didn't, we didn't do very well in the CPS. These are, that's about it for, you know, quality CPS, you know, maybe possibly rookie of the year, but that's about it. Black, I think we did even worse. You got one per box, so 40 total, but man, we didn't, 
We didn't hit a ton. We did hit one big one, but not a lot of depth. These are the notables. I like that Randy Johnson one. Uh, and then chromes. Um, the refractors. The refractors were, they're a little more rare. Like, I don't know, every two or three boxes maybe. Um, sometimes I got them in every box. Sometimes I got like one in four boxes. So somewhere in there. So a couple of refractors. These were good rookie refractors. Um, got a lot of the chromes of most of the top. Most of the top rookies. A lot of refractors. Sorry about the lighting, man. The refractors really are <laughs> giving off a lot of shine here. Maybe I shouldn't have as much light on the on the screen. Um, let's see what we got next. Uh, some of the hits. I got the notables up on the stands, but I mean, one paper parallel, I guess. <laughs> I mean, parallels. If you are looking for parallels that are numbered, do do not open up this product. They do not have numbered parallels in this product. Um, they have some, but like that's a lot of non-numbered parallels, I guess. Uh, we got a nice white pearl. It's called pearl white chrome parallel Bo Jackson number to 30. We got a triumvirate uh, white Langford. I'm guessing it's considered a green, and that is to 50. I don't know what the value is of that if you don't have the other connecting pieces, but it's whatever. Uh, Carson Spears on the auto, on card auto, which is cool, and Emerson Hancock. So a couple paper autos, but they're on card. So I don't know, in my book, that, that makes it pretty sweet. Not the biggest names, but Emerson Hancock's not bad. Um, okay, so uh, in the set, do not expect to grade cards in the set. These are not gradable cards at all. Stadium Club is just terrible when it comes to grading. <laughs> Like paper cards, they're 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 cut funny. They're not clean cuts. On the back, see the black on the bottom. Just it's tough to get clean corners. Um, we like we like to grade, you know, a decent number of cards uh, in a case opening because it helps us kind of, you know, profit a little bit more as far as getting our money back and paying for the case. But uh, this was this is not good for it. So the chromes were the best ones to grade, and they're they're more they're. There's only 1,200 of each player in the Chrome, so they're a more rare insert. So I think we're going to grade some of these. Jackson Merrill, Jackson Holiday. We've got an LE. Um, because it's so rare to grade a paper, I picked out some that I actually think could be 10s. There's not very many, but I got a Cheerio and two of the skeins, I actually think. We pulled three paper skeins, and I think two of them. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. And then I like this Ellie. I think it's gradable, but it's, it's a really sweet looking insert in person. And then just, I know it's Jordan Lawler, but that and the Jackson Holiday were the only really two good rookies. And I think it's gradable, so we'll give it a shot. And then to add to the grading, these two we're going to grade. Um, so we've already saw that one. And then, so this is the Chrome Refractor Paul Skeen. So... I would say a refractor is probably about, if there's 1,200 chromes of every, refractors are a lot less, I guess. I don't know if I have those numbers right, but yeah. So a lot more rare parallel. We're definitely going to try grading that, and we'll see. Um, probably the best hits of the case, you know, are the ones on the stands as far as value goes. Um, the green holiday, the refractor skeins, we hit... We hit three really good skeins, and we hit these all like within the last maybe three videos. So the refractor, nice red. This was in the last opening we had, and then the black. So I think the sepia is the only thing we were missing out on. I wish we could have got a sepia one, but um, then we got this. This is one of the first boxes, I think. We got a ph photographer's proof, Bernie Williams. So there's only 12 of this card out there, only 12. Bernie Williams, one of my favorite players, Yankees, grown up, so love this card. It's rare, extremely rare. Um, see, it's another one of those things. There's only twelve of them, but they don't they don't number their cards, <laughs> so you just don't know that. Uh, and then we got man, this is a sweet red Ellie De Cruz. I mean, man, this is that is if I collected him, he was in my PC. I would definitely go after this card. This one's cool. All you need is an autograph across the middle. <laughs> Here's the thing. 
you can get a red parallel of Elliot Cruz for a reasonable price with this one. Most red rookies are like number to five and probably a thousand bucks. So it's a way of getting a cheaper, cool looking card. And then we got our probably our best auto. Well, it was. Uh, chromes are a lot more rare in retail. I think one in like 1,200 packs or something to get a chrome auto. So like four cases. So I feel fortunate that we got a chrome auto and we got a, a solid rookie, Junior Caminero. Sticker autos, which is a down downer, but that's okay. The papers are on card. The chromes are sticker autos. I don't know. I don't know. So that's kind of the that's kind of what we hit in the box in the boxes. Um, okay, so here's kind of my opinions. The blaster boxes in general, they are extremely fun to open. They are fun. Tons of color. Great rookie class, Hall of Famers, and uh, all top veterans. So it's fun. Okay, another positive, the photos are amazing. Man, if you're going for looks, you want cards for looks, these are amazing. I mean, look at the reds, you know? Look at the, just the photography of the card. So looks, these are, it's an awesome set, okay? Downers, uh, grading, bad, bad, bad set to grade. I just, if you can, you get any Gem Mint PSA 10s, out of Stadium Club, they're actually going to have a lot of value because they're going to be rare. <laughs> but I would not, I would not buy this set looking to grade a bunch of cards. I would, you know, steer more towards like Topps Chrome and stuff. Um, another, another Debbie Downer. Another Debbie Downer is um, I just don't think the value is there in in retail. In retail, so blaster boxes, I don't think we're going to get our money back. So we spent a thousand bucks on forty boxes, twenty five bucks a piece, and I'm guessing we could probably scratch our way to like 800. I don't know what a complete set is worth. Um, I know we can complete at least one set, maybe two out of this case. So may, I would say on average, you could probably complete two sets. I don't know what those go for. Hopefully more than I think, because that might help get some of our money back to help pay for it. But I think this set, you're more than likely going to lose money. That's why you buy it for the looks the fun factor, and that's why you buy it. And I'm talking strictly from the blaster boxes. Hobby, there might be more value. And I don't know if the quality is better because maybe you hit more chrome, more chrome parallels in hobby. So, you know, for what that's worth. And then I guess my last thought is, from all the videos I've watched, if I had to do it all over again, I would buy compact boxes. Um, they're only 75 bucks uh, originally. Um, if you got the regular hobby, it was 150 but I'm like, you're going to pay $75 more for just one more auto? No. No, I'll pay the 75 get that really cool auto, you know. Um, and then the hobby boxes and the compact boxes, you just, I don't know, they just look better. You got better hits, so the value might be better in those. I'm just guessing, though. That's just what I'm thinking. So if I did it over again, I would get a case of compact boxes. I think that would have been better. But again, a lot of fun. It's a sweet set. I learned a lot. Um, got a lot of a lot of Paul Skeens. Got some good Ellie's. So, um, gosh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. No, I think that's it, guys. Um, again, please like the video. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you guys like this. Um, we're going to do more videos like this. We like, we like to open up cases um, just because you can see this. You can get a better idea. But uh, yep, tops update Chrome. I got a Mega Box coming. We're gonna test that out. See, uh, see what it looks like. Um, we got ten more hanger boxes of update coming. Um, I do have four more blaster boxes of Stadium Club that I bought separate like a month ago, <laughs> like pre-ordered it, but we're not getting it for another week or two. So, you know, it's whatever. So we, we have some more stuff to open. Um, yeah, and hopefully some Sapphire comes out soon. So, yep. Thanks for joining me, guys. Hope this was helpful. Hope you enjoyed the videos and uh, we'll catch you in the next ones.